Hello everyone, welcome back to The Planning Professor. Uh, it is Wednesday, July 19th, and that must mean I'm planning for the week beginning Monday, July 17th. So yeah, grading jail happens, um, but I still do want to make a plan with me, and it's not too late, I don't think. So we'll go ahead and just see what, what happens. If nothing else, um, it'll be fun to use this kit. So the kit that I've chosen for this one is called It's Planner Time. It's by DEK Designs. It is sort of this peach and blue Paris looking kit, which I think is really, really pretty. I did buy this at one of her clearance sales. So it's been sitting in my stash for quite a while, but I'll walk you through it. This is the full box page, along with there's a, a strip of washi at the bottom there. These are the ombre heart checklists, and I don't know if you can see that really well. Hopefully it'll zoom. Those are little paper clips with bows. How pretty. Um, it does have some postponed, canceled, which kind of I love. LOL, my bad, not a chance for when things just don't go the way they're supposed to. There are some half boxes here, quarter boxes maybe. Yeah, quarter boxes. Heart checklists, some asterisks, little functional flaggy teardroppy box things. Here is the washi, the date covers, and little bitty washi strips, which look how pretty those are. These do say girl boss and fashion, and really I just loved the color combination. So I'm an English professor, I'm not the boss of anything, but these are gorgeous. This is a full page of decoration, which I tend not to use, but maybe I'll try because the chair is just so pretty. It makes me want to just curl up and sit in it. Um, so we'll go with that. And then over here are the the headers, the little things, the, the icons. Um, and yeah, this is a little bit different than the other kits of hers that I've used. So we'll just try it and see what happens. Like I said, two days of the week are gone. It can't hurt anything. This kit does not come with glitter headers. So I had a devil of a time picking glitter headers for it. I decided, I think, on these two blues. These are Peaceful Mind Design and this peachy one here. Um, Peaceful Mind Design is probably my favorite shop in the whole wide world. The kit is matte, which I know is a deal breaker for a lot of you, but because I am a functional planner, I like to be able to write on everything and matte facilitates that. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and set up this week um, and we'll see what happens. So I am going to start with the world's prettiest washi and as I those of you who've used her kits know she gives you, these are both long washi strips. So what I like to do with mine is to start over here and you can see some bad things happen to my planner page here. Let's just not even talk about it. Something got stuck and now it's off. But this washi goes all the way to the end. And the same is true over here with this washi. Oops, what row? Let's just try that again some days. Boom, done. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's really, really pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do full boxes. There they are. Okay. Now, I tend not to really care about having a quilt box up there, but it's planner time is super duper cute. Yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just do it the way everyone else does it and save its planner time for up there. I like to save the top row for functional things, which means the rest of these will be scattered across the bottom. And she has a really pretty weekend banner, so we will go ahead and just put down some full boxes. And I do really, really like all of these, so I guess we just go at random. We'll start with the happy chair. 
which I think looks adorable. Oh, yes, chair, good call. And then I don't have any real rules for the way I do this, except that I like to vary it a little bit so that the colors are equally represented on both sides. And that is an OCD thing, I'm sure. And then I do like to put the two weekend ones down here so I can put the weekend banner because my weekends tend to be concentrated in the morning and then I don't really plan for what goes on in the evenings. I like to be surprised and whatever happens, happens, right? So let's go ahead and put this guy down over here. And I can always add a sticker on top if something really noteworthy happens, but if there's going to be any use of that adorable chair deco, oh no, um, it's going to have to go down here because that is an enormous chair. Okay, put that down there, we'll put this. Just those scissors, they're so beautiful. I love everything rose gold. And this planner is not rose gold because I actually plan most of the time in an Erin Condren hourly planner with a rose gold coil. Um, but that is absolutely 100% functional. It's a work planner, so there's none of this prettiness. There's no kits in it. And uh, I bought this one when um, Erin Condren planners went to half off, which I think was in April, so that I could play and see if next year I do want to try to, to do this more than I do now. So let's go ahead then and um, well, let's get the glitter headers over with. Okay, and we said, yeah, that doesn't match as well as it could, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, we want the blue, these two blues. These two, okay. Oh, fine. Blue is my favorite color ever, so let's go ahead and just start with this blue at the top. I'll put the peachy color in the middle. blue we wanted? The baby blue? Sure. Okay. Baby blue at the bottom. Oh, look at me getting out of my comfort zone, guys. Normally I would have the darker color at the bottom, but oh, we're living dangerously. So, okay. So let's finish up these glitter headers. And they are really, really pretty. So yeah, if you are a fan of Oops. If you're a fan of stickers that lay down straight, stop watching this video. If you are a fan of matte glitter headers and you like fine glitter, then Peaceful Mind Design is amazing. I will link to her shop as well down below um, because I do like that if you want to go ahead and write on these, right, that can happen. And you can still read it, which is really. I have so much going on at any given time. Um, when summer school ends, I think I have two weeks left before fall semester begins. And the only time I ever really take off is during December. So sometimes we need every little bit of space and being able to write on the glitter header don't write hateful comments and down below, but sometimes you just have to write on the glitter header. And these ones are great for that. They make it very easy. And 
faster and I might just speed through it so you don't even have to listen to this but maybe not I don't know yet and last but not least these pretty baby blues Baby blue like my eyes. As a note, Nikki does give you eight glitter headers, so if you like to use them in your sidebar or if you like to use them for other things, there is always one left over. I have not decided how I'm going to use my leftovers. I kind of like the idea of using it to mark something fun, um, but I will not know that till the week happens. Nothing fun so far. Okay, so that looks really pretty, I think. And let's go ahead and do the sidebar. which we'll start with the it's planning time. Right. I'm kind of so hesitant to give up that much real estate in my sidebar, but since the week is almost half over, I kind of already know what did and didn't happen, right? So, okay, so where's my headings page? Okay, well that makes me a little bit grumpy. Okay, so what I would love to have is something that said to do this week or meals, but that is not in the kit. So, do I have any reserve from last week? No. Pay no attention to the girl with the camera. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Maybe what we'll do instead is just live a little bit dangerously and... No habit trackers? Oh, good grief. I can't even live dangerously, y'all. I wanted to put some habit trackers into the sidebar first, but nope. Fine. Okay. So... Well, I'm kind of glad we used its planner time, huh? All right, so then maybe what we'll do is just have a heading list checklist because it's kind of implied that that's to do, right? We'll have a heading list meal planner box. And do I want another checklist maybe? <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll put another checklist in here just because it is entirely possible that we'll need to do some checking off toward the end of the week. I'm going to cover part of the bottom here. Basically because I just want to use this pretty checklist. So that looks all right. Hey, right? That's fine. Okay. Good enough. All right, so let's do the date covers. And these are really pretty. They're blue with the peachy color. So let's go ahead and, they're nice and little too. So let's go ahead and put those in and then we'll put those down. Camera decided it had had enough of the date covers. So it turned itself off. You didn't miss much. Yeah, if you're real anal about where the sticker goes, you're not going to be happy with me. Okay, that looks fine. Let's go ahead and put that in there. 
Oh yeah, I like it. Even if this kit is a little frustrating, I'm really not that picky. At the end of the day, it's just gotta be functional, so. Some of the plan with me's I watch, people are so elaborate and they do such a beautiful job. Me, I'm like, eh, good enough. So I hope that that doesn't make you guys grumpy. Okay, so there is not a flag cover. It doesn't look like. Are those flags up in the corner? And they're probably close enough that I don't really need to be very upset about it. Okay, so what you missed was me trying to make flags that would work to cover those, but you know what? It's really not cooperating, and that color is close enough, I think, that we're just gonna leave it because I don't feel like fighting with it today. Okay, so then I do like to track my water consumption, and, and I love checking things off, I'm not gonna lie to you. So what I tend to like to do is put water tracker at the very top of each day, and I'm thinking, yeah, let's go ahead and do it that way. Or should I live dangerously and put it at the bottom? What do you think? Yeah, we'll put it at the top. Top is fine. Okay. So I do like to have these at the very top, just to remind myself from the get-go every day that we need to drink more water, because water is so good for you, and I gave up drinking pop. Oh, you guys are thinking pop. Yes, spoiler alert, I am a girl from the Midwest, and I used to drink a lot of pop, and now I don't. I drink a lot of tea and I drink a lot of water and I'm trying really hard every week to drink all eight required glasses of water and I found pro tip that it is easier to drink water when you don't think of it as something that you have to do when it becomes a little reward or something you can check off all right this appeals to my need to check things off and being busy it just makes that easier to uh, to do. So, start with our water trackers, and okay. And then I tend to use the top section for my daily schedule, whatever it is that I've got going on. And then I use this middle section for my to-do list, and sometimes I use these lovely heart checklists. And I think this week I will, just because it'll be fun. So, and let's see. I do not have enough that they will match. So the challenge is gonna be then to put them down so that they don't match the water header. All right, this is how we make it fun and interesting. So we'll put this guy down right here. Okay. And yeah, I can I get to actually backfill my checklist and check off all the things I did yesterday. Now that is a good thing. That's a good feeling, right? To go back and look at everything that that you've accomplished in a day. Um, and I get to do that for two days since I'm late in planning this. So hooray! Okay. Oh, that's not close to straight, and I can't leave it. What will you guys think of me if I'm? posting a skew checklist. Okay. This does not match. It's a lighter peach than the top peach. Okay, and we can go to the navy blue again. Oh, look at that. I'm so spontaneous. Are you guys impressed? I have to make plans to be spontaneous. That's kind of the way I roll. So spontaneity is not something that I do a lot of. Why? Well,
poor life decisions. No, um, it's between work and, and work and puppies. It's a lot, so that looks real pretty. Now let's go ahead in and put down our todays, and todays are all this lovely blue. So we'll put those, usually I put them at the top, but do I wanna live dangerously? Yeah, no, we'll put them at the top. So this is just a reminder. Again, it's summertime, so I'm not on campus all day, every day, like I am in the fall which means that, you know, I don't have the luxury of days running together, but I do find I work best without a set schedule if I have a list of things that have to be done every day. Um, and while I'm over here, let's go ahead and do the to-dos. And the way I do this when I use the full heart checklist is to cover up the top one, just because then we don't have to do any cutting. <laughs> Yay, lazy girl. But. I think that looks pretty. It does show through a little tiny bit um, with the darker colors, so if that bugs you, you may not, whoops, you may not like this technique, but it works for me, and yeah, yeah, okay. Over here, let's do our todays. Incidentally, there are seven of each of these. So if you like to plan this way, if you plan your days kind of this all similarly, which is, as you can see, what I do, um, this might be a good kit for you. I do miss the habit trackers, though, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think when I bought these, she was clearing out her shop to make room for new stuff. So some of these kits, there's not a lot of uniformity. Oops, boy, that looks awful. Sorry. <sighs> okay, fine. And there's today. Okay. And let's put those last to do's down. partial waste of the sticker, but I don't know. Anything I can't get done in one day, I can just move it forward. And that tends to be how I make my to-do list. If there's something I know I've just really got to do on a specific day, I do write it in early in the week. Otherwise, I tend to fill out Monday and see how Monday went, and anything that didn't get done moves over to Tuesday, and etc. You guys get the idea. It works. System. I need systems. I live on systems. And, uh, okay. So that's that. If I did not have this meal or this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I would put down meal plans for each day, but I do have that, so there's no reason to duplicate, I don't think. Um, let's see. Boxes. Oh, I said I was going to put down a little bit of the decorations. So, let's see. Do you think the chair... Oh, weekend banner. Let's put the... Look at that pretty weekend banner. Watch me rip it. I didn't. Okay. So, let's put... Weekend. Do we want to put the chair? What do you guys think? The chair. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Maybe we'll put the chair... No, the chair's already over there. Here. Oh, I like that. Okay. And put the chair. The chair's falling over, but it's pretty that way. And then we could put some flowers in. Yeah, that's really pretty. Um, the girl reading a book. That wish, that's what I wish I were doing right about now. But planning is just as much fun. Okay. Ooh. Let's go ahead and put this pretty bouquet up here. Okay, look at how fun this is. I'm going to take the sticker and cover over that. <laughs> that looks like it was done on purpose. The coffee cups are really pretty too. Let's put 
those here and here. And the paper clips are real pretty, so maybe maybe these oh look at that. <laughs> Magical. Okay, let's put the other one over here because that looks a little squirrely. Okay. There's me time and it's a planner thing. Look how cute that is. I may need to take some me time, guys, just to use that. It's a planner thing. Okay, where can we put this? This has to go somewhere, doesn't it, don't you think? Yeah, okay. And I think we'll skip the wallet and the girl with the book. But I think that turned out pretty well, and I think it will be really useful for what's left of the week, and I can backfill what, uh, what's already passed. So thanks so much for watching, and I will link to DEK Designs and Peaceful Mind Design down below, and I'll see you next time. Have a great one. Bye.